Hello and welcome back to TC Weekly Live. We are your hosts this week, Stasia. And I'm Christian. And as you know, this is the better, <laughs> I mean, the Thursday edition of Pandemically Speaking. We are your news source for news, entertainment, and everything happening on campus. We have yet another unique and entertaining afternoon planned for you. With all the snow recently, we've forgotten how green everything used to be. Well, how about we learn some more about green things with Top Tier? Everyone these days is telling you to go green. And you know what? I'm taking that to heart. So this time, on Top Tier, we're going green. Today, we're doing Top Tier green food items. Because we gotta go green, you know? So let's start with the basic. First up, we got apple. Now apple is like the signature green fruit. So we gotta start with apple. So let's get into apple. Uh, they call this guy a Granny Smith, but uh, whoopsie. Seems the inside is not green. I would have put it S tier because I'm a big fan of apples, but that's not green. That's not green. So uh, apple, C tier. Next up, we got grapes. See this? We get we got a little grape here, and uh, grapes they're green like apples, and they're also circular like apples. But you know, are they green on the inside? Because last time we were lied to by the apples, so let's let's try it out. We got a winner. We are giving grapes the S tier. All right, next item, we got a, a green food classic. Hearts of Romaine. Now, Hearts of Romaine are in the lettuce category, and they're green. Green leafy boys. Let's give them a try. Yeah, that, that tastes like nothing. That literally tastes like nothing. Um... Hearts of Romaine, you're getting an you're getting an F tier. Next, we got dill pickled chips. Now, um, I I wanted to get regular pickles, but uh, I got dill pickled chips instead. All right, so they're good, but the big but though, this is a sin. This is not green. This is not green. Next, we got pear applesauce. Now, um, I'm not sure how to eat this because I don't really have a spoon. So we're going to need a... Oh, it's my lucky day. I've actually uh, never had pear uh, in applesauce format before. And um, it's kind of taking me aback because I wasn't expecting this taste. It's not bad. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but I just wasn't expecting this taste of, of pear. After consuming a bit more of pear applesauce, I've come to the conclusion, this is a B tier. Next we got aloe drink. Now I know what you're thinking, aloe in drink format? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's little chunks of aloe in there, little boys in there. Um. And I'm, I'm gonna drink it. That's really good. This is actually surprisingly amazing. It's sweet, and there's like little chunks of aloe in there, and they taste good. They're like little gummy guys. I'm a fan. This is A tier. Now it's time for our final green food. Go green. And that is melon soda. So the thing with the melon soda is there's a lot of chunks of melon. And they're kind of big. I thought I would be able to kind of like just drink it. But like, you gotta chew. You gotta chew while drinking. It's good though. It's very sweet. Now I definitely recommend this one. This is another A tier. This has been Top Tier's Green Food Go Green tier list. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you next week. Oh, well, thanks, Christian. Oh, thank me. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, I've been wondering how to do this TikTok dance. It's like something like like that. I don't think that's quite right, but maybe we'll learn more about it in our next segment, Fake News.
Hello, my name is James Bolton, the host of Fake News. Let's jump straight into this week's top stories. Our top story is a kid does a TikTok dance to save his own life. Little Jimmy, only nine years old, was recording a TikTok when a suspected burglar approached his house. The burglar was about to break in, but weird noises coming from Jimmy's phone, as well as weird shadows casted on the wall from Jimmy's dance, were suspected to scare off the potential burglar. When Jimmy was asked if he was scared at all from the encounter, he said he didn't care and he just wanted more followers on TikTok. So, if you're interested in following Jimmy on TikTok, his TikTok at is little Jimmy on TikTok 27. For our next story, the wrong Super Bowl ad plays. You may have suspected an unusual ad played if you watched the Super Bowl last Sunday. An ad for Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage seemed to randomly play during an ad break in the late third quarter. Workers at CBS said that a Ford truck commercial was supposed to play, but instead, the Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage commercial played. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage is a local restaurant located in the south of Chicago. It is suspected that Mr. Jones managed to hack CBS to play an ad for his restaurant, but he has not been charged yet. As you guys all know, Donald Trump was recently banned from various social media platforms, including Twitter. However, the staff here at Fake News have suspected that there are some Twitter accounts on Twitter that are actually Donald Trump's alt accounts. Here are the accounts that we found. We have Jorge T, Mr. Baguette, Diana Trump, and lastly, King Trump the Eighth. And now, to end the show, we have a special announcement from my manager, Ryan. Hi guys, I just want to wish my mom, Rebecca, a happy birthday. Happy 60th, mom. Wait, did you just interrupt my show to wish your mom a happy birthday? Yeah, it's, it's sweet, isn't it? No, it's not. It's completely irrelevant. It's, it's not even a top news story. You know what? You're fired. Get out of here. Really? Shoo. Scram. Skedaddle. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. But that'll wrap up this episode of Fake News. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day, y'all. Super interesting, Ryan. Too bad it didn't help your dance skills, Christian. Ah, oh, that's all right. I'll keep practicing, just like those football players. Speaking of football, the Green Bay Packers Foundation is matching funds when you donate to the Give Big Green Bay event online from February 16th to noon at February 17th. This event helps others attend schools and so much more. Wow, that's super helpful. You know what would be more helpful, though? A nice lasagna. Oh, mm. That sounds so good. Well, maybe Jacob can help us in a second episode of Midnight Cooking. Tonight we're going to cook baked ziti. For starters, we'll need to heat a large pot of salted water until boiling. Once this is done, add one pound of ziti pasta and stir the noodles for 10 minutes. Once the pasta is finished cooking, drain the water from the pot. Make sure to toss in a little olive oil as well, since this will prevent the pasta from sticking together. Next, we want to get started on the sauce. First, heat a tablespoon of olive oil in a large saute pan on medium-high heat. Once the olive oil is shimmering, add one pound of ground beef to the pan. While we brown the meat, we'll need to break up any large chunks as it cooks. Once the meat is brown, we'll need to finely chop one large onion and begin adding it with the beef. 
continue stirring for about 5 minutes. After this, finely chop or press 3 to 4 garlic cloves and add that to the pan as well. Finally, stir in a tablespoon of rosemary, 1 tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes to the pan. Continue stirring for another minute. When a minute is up, add 32 ounces of marinara sauce to the pan and stir until brought to a simmer. Next we'll need to grab a 9 by 13 inch casserole dish. Here we'll be spreading the beef and sauce as the bottom layer. Then, spread a couple drops of ricotta cheese on the first layer. You'll then need to add the pasta to the casserole and spread it evenly. After that, you can finally top off the dish with some mozzarella cheese. Finally, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and set the timer to 20 to 25 minutes. Once the timer is up, the food should be ready to eat, so grab a plate and dig in. This is a very easy dish to make, so give it a try if it sounds good to you. Thank you for joining me in Midnight Cooking. I'll see you next week. Wow, that ziti looks so good. It makes me want to... <laughs> Well, I'd love for you to continue. How about you go and sign up for our first virtual open mic night? Sign up begins February 17th to the 19th. You'll be able to sing all you want there. Nah, I'm more of a poetry guy my, myself. Speaking of, you should check out Langston Hughes Project on Wednesday, February 17th from 11.30 to 1.30. It's a, it's a concert performance combining the world of music and of uh, no, and of Hughes's poetry to images, people, and places. That does sound more interesting. I'll definitely be watching that. While we're on the topic of music, how about we let the professionals tell us what's new with Record Report? Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Jonah. And this is Record Report. Record Report! Record Report! Record Report! We're having fun just like we do it for sport. It's the best show ever, you cannot retort. Even though episodes are kind of short. Record Report is the best in the land. I said it in the song so you understand. Leave it to these boys to give you a hand. Suggesting some music your taste will expand. Record Report! Alright, welcome back to Record Report, where we showcase the best records and tell you why they're awesome. Jonah, what do you got for us this week? All right, today I brought the soundtrack for Doom 2016. Now, if you know anything about the Doom games, you know that it is composed by Mick Gordon, who is a legend. And this is really cool, really heavy instrumental metal. And if you haven't played any of the games or heard the music, I highly recommend it. And you can also see that this comes in a really nice translucent red, or at least mine is. Some of my personal favorite songs on this album have to be Rip and Tear and obviously the BFG division. And I just find this to be an overall amazing album. Sounds great on vinyl. So Noah, what do you got for us today? Well, 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 this week we have Fire Down Under by a little band called Riot. Now, if you don't know who Riot is, don't worry. A whole lot of people I talk to don't know who they are. These guys are a very awesome speed metal band. This record released in 1981 and still continues to be atop the list, honestly, of the speed metal genre, really. Some legendary songs off of this album include the title track, Fire Down Under, Outlaw, and yeah, very awesome record overall. Highly recommend you listen to it if you haven't, which you probably haven't. Get it. That's all we got for Record Report for today. Tune in next week where we showcase some classics. See you next time. Peace. Wow, looking at those records reminds me of how many, how much old, uh, looking at those records reminds me of how many old people don't use, <laughs> wow, looking at those records reminds me of how many old things people don't use anymore. Such a waste of vintage. I totally know what you're talking about. I thought the same thing so many times. But maybe some refurbishing will help those unwanted items shine again. Let's check out what Jack and I did this week on Goodwill Hunting. Hello and welcome to Goodwill Hunting. 
For today's challenge, we headed to the Goodwill on Mason Street in search of pieces of furniture. In good thrifting fashion, we had to look at the entire store before we actually began our challenge. After walking around the entire store and looking at every single piece of clothing, I finally found something I could put to good use. In the moment, I couldn't quite put my finger on as to why I was so drawn to this piece, but I knew I wanted to see it with a new handle and a new finish. I was feeling very kind of Stasia, so I brought it up to the front for her. As we were bringing our new finds up to the front, we happened to meet an older gentleman. Unfortunately, we didn't get his name, but he approached us and was super nice and gave us a coupon. You don't get these experiences at Walmart. We had to test out the products in the parking lot. And after making stage to load up both of our finds, it was time to drive to the studio and get to work. To begin the process, I sanded the top and sides of the end table to start prepping for paint. I applied the tape to make the lines and then started painting. I ran out of tape halfway through it, so I ended up only doing half of the back side of the chair. After sanding the table, I was able to brush off the dust and began painting. The color of the first coat of paint had me a little nervous as it started looking more pink or orange than the cherry wood I had originally envisioned. I ended up painting Hit and Run on the back of the chair, which is the name of my video production company that I'm starting. And here are the final products. I'm really happy with the way my table turned out. I wish I could have added another coat of the red paint, but I love the wood grain finish look. To complete the table, I added a brand new brassy handle. I free painted the hit and run, so that's why the hit looks like a different font than the run. And the R looks a little bit like an A. We showed our final products to our fellow castmates and had them cast votes as to which piece was the most creative and the most functional. And here are the results. And the winner is, drum roll please, the box. Jack, you did a wonderful job on your chair. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> that looks like magic after you finished that. Ah, well, no, uh, it's just hard work. <laughs> but if you're interested in magic, you should check out the Virtual Family Magic Show. Sign up starts tomorrow until the 14th. You can see the comedy magician Trent James in action and maybe even learn some card tricks. Ooh, that sounds neat. I love card tricks. Hmm, if I'm not mistaken, our next segment has something to do with, uh, with that. Let's get card crazy with... Psychotically.
Hello, and welcome back to Psychotically. And in this episode, we are going to be talking to none other than Jeremy Dorn, infamous for... God, guys, when I said we need more info on these guys, that doesn't mean just putting infamous for after their names and then letting me do the rest. But I, I know nothing. All right, you know, you know, all right, you know what? Let's just go meet this guy. Yeah, let's do this. So, J Jeremy, you you seem pretty normal. Uh, why why are we having this this conversation? Oh, I eat things. You you eat things. Yes. E every everyone eats things. But see, I I eat bugs, insects. Eating eating bugs isn't really psychotic. Well, what if I told you that I eat cards? Like playing cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like. like all these types of cards. But, you know, it doesn't just have to be a playing card. It can be any any type of card. Uh, oh, oh, so so it could be a, a business card. Give me a second. Yeah, see? A baseball card? Mm -hmm. You done. What about a, the ma a Magic the Gathering card? They're actually quite good if you have a little sugar. Oh, oh, oh. So so what about a, a, a greeting card? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a little thick, but uh, it still goes down the gullet just quite nice, actually. Yeah, that is definitely psychotic. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, n no, no, damn it, no. Why are we having this conversation? Well, I'm psychotic, that's why we're here, right? But eating, eating cards isn't... <sighs> Listen, e I'm gonna tell you this once. You're not psychotic. You're just... Really crazy. Really, really crazy. Like, insane. Really weird. I... I, th I think we're done here. P please, please show yourself out. What about the hair in between my toes? No, no, go! No, get, just get out! Go! him in? I don't know, but the security guards are dead and the chain's broken. I'm leaving. What the f Oh, um, yeah, definitely something to do with cards. Um, I left those shoes, though. Real hiker vibes. Oh, that reminds me. Before we end on a strange note, I hope everyone enjoys their Valentine's Day. We gotta end it off with some love. Thank you for everyone for watching, and be sure to check out our social media Links down below. And be sure to come back every Tuesday and Thursday. Especially Thursday. Especially Thursday. This was Pandemically Speaking. I'm Christian. And I'm Stasia. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.